should I really be drawing all animals instead of writing their initials in here as suggested by the rules? Probably not, since that makes the video longer, but it's fun, so I'll keep doing it. Hey everyone, this is Sarah Thakas, back with another video, and today I got something really cool, even if it might not seem like that. This is the game Tiny Farms that you can download for free on the internet, and it's pretty fun. That's actually one of the very few print and play games I'm thinking about deluxifying, making it a little bit nicer and everything because it's pretty fun to play. Um, you can play this game with um, several players, um, but you can also play it just by yourself in the, um, in the Automa mode. And it's not just a scoring, scoring mode um, because you really have an AI, Pharma Emma here, um, who you're playing against. All right, let me quickly run you through the game and then we can start playing. Um, just one thing in advance, as usual, please check if there is the Esperanto subtitle track available. If it is, please turn it on. That just means that I added some comments or corrections after having uploaded this video. All right, so let's get started. We only need these meeple, the marker and these three dice. All these animals are just for decoration. All right. this game plays this way that we roll dice and these dice can then be used to um, get animals. Either we move the red meeple and get animals for our red farm here or we move the blue meeple and get animals for our blue farm. We can put um, we can put animals anywhere we want to just on the correct farm and here we see how they are scored. So. Just let me run you quickly through that. Um, if we have an adjacent group of pigs um, of just one pig, then we just get one victory point at the end. If we have two adjacent pigs, we get six victory points. Any more than that just counts as two also. Sheep, um, similar. One sheep, zero victory points. Um, if we have two adjacent, it's two victory points, and three adjacent is even 12 victory points. Chicken just get two victory points no matter where they are. Um, if you have the most horses, you get 10 victory points. And if you have the second most in a two player game or in the, in the game against Farmer Emma, you get zero victory points. And then cows and calves are a little bit more complicated. Um, this just means that um, if you have a, you, you, you look at each group and for each cow in a group, you get one victory point per calf. So if you have one cow and four calves in a group, you get four victory points. If you have two cows and four calves, you get eight victory points. And that's how it's calculated. And then there are also unique forest friends. If you there are five of these, if you have um, for each unique forest friend you have any place, um, you get these victory points here, as you can see, for five, 18, for one, only one. And that's how it's Calculated, um, Farmer Emma will also score based on these conditions, and we will also roll one die for Farmer Emma. And she will, it's, it will always be her turn in, um, in um, all even rounds. Okay, so just to show you the game, I will play the game on easy. So um, Farmer Emma will start with a horse and a chicken. So I'm pretty sure you could deluxify that, like print that on better cardboard or some cardstock or anything. And then you could probably take like Marcus to mark how many animals she has. Um, I'm doing it with a pen for now. All right, so we will just get going and start. Oh, one thing I still need to do. I need to put like the numbers here. That's only in the solo mode. And then up here is a five and there is six. Um, I will show you in a minute um, what that has to do here. Okay, so um, we, will always, we will always first roll the black die. You can take any color, but I just used the black one. Three, and that's gonna be the goal for Farmer Emma this round. So she will try to get pigs. And then we will add these two dice here. So one, three, and three. First round, I will start. Um, and we will now try to think what we want to do. So we have a one and a three we can use. Either we use the red or the blue meeple. Uh, for the red meeple, on the red farm, we could get a chicken and a forest friend, and also, or we can get two calves and a forest friend. 
that's all okay. The blue form, we can get a pig and two calves. That's not too bad. And we could get a forest friend or a cow. And a cow. So I think we should start investing in calves and pigs aren't too bad either. So I will take the one, put it aside. Or usually you put the dice here and then I'll take that out. Uh, move one here and then I can have one pig and two calves on my blue farm. So um, yeah, let me just do that. So the pig, um, we need a group. Uh, let me put them down here. So there's a pig. Let me check the re screen. Can you see everything? Yeah, I think so. So that that's a pig over there. And then we need two calves. Um, I will put those up here, I think. Let's put them here. Like one calf I will put here. And another one over here. Let's make that one a little bit thicker. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay. So that was my turn. And now it's Farmer Emma. Now we need to, um, oh, that was a three. We need to take these two die. Well, they are both the same color, so it doesn't matter. And see um, if we can get um, to her goal with these dice. So the blue one can't get there because there's already meeple there and the red one can't get to a pig. So then we take the next animal below that, horses. One, two, three, no horses. Cows, no, but calves. So we can move Emma over there and um, she will get two calves. And also she will get one forest friend like that. And with the last die, there are two things we do. First of all, we rotate our land here. So, oh, can I do that? In this constellation here yeah one two and come on three i need to find a way to better rotate it on camera so like this and now you see we have in the windows we have different animals now and also the meeples are of course at different positions because we rotated that um and also with the three what we will also do is we will find that number here and in that row or in that on that farm we will draw crops and we need at least groups of three at the end of the game to score so three we need to put crops here someplace so i will put them let's put them on the red farm here like that okay and that was it. Now we roll again for Farmer Emma. Six, she will try to get calves. And add two more dice. So we have six, six, two. And now first it's Farmer, Farmer Emma's turn. So she will need calves. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't work because there's already people there. One, two, three, four, five, six. She can get calf. calves over there. So she will... Let's put that one six on the side and she will get two calves and also a chicken. Like that. And that was already um, and that was pretty much it. Okay, so now it's our turn again, two and six. So what do we want? With the blue farm, we would want cows and maybe calves and at least one pig. So we can get a cow here with the two, three, four, five, six. And here we can get a sheep and a horse. That doesn't help us too much, but a cow wouldn't be too bad. And a sheep, well, hmm. let's look at the red farm. So we could get a sheep and a horse. I would like that, have some sheep on this farm. Three, four, five, six, or a sheep and a cow. Let's use the two over here. 
Well, actually, we also could use the two for the crops here. So if we take a six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that or that. Then let's do that. Let's take the red meeple and put it there. Use the six. So on the red farm, we get a cow and a sheep. Um, so the sheep are in smaller groups here. So let's just put a sheep over here. I'd say, right? So um, let's just draw a sheep like this. And we also get a cow and we will just put the cow just way over here. Like that. Okay. Should I really be drawing all animals instead of writing the initials in here as suggested by the rules? Probably not since that makes the video longer, but it's fun. So I'll keep doing it. Okay. And now we have the two. So we rotate this here all by two, one, and come on, two, two, like that. I need to find a way to rotate that better on camera, seriously. And also in row two, we need to draw crops. So let's put them here. So we start, so our first group is almost done. And the more crops in the group, the better, the more points we get. Okay, that was it. Um, oh, by the way, we need to mark the rounds we have played. So now we're on round three. So there's one little set of rules I forgot, or one little rule I forgot to tell you. We have three milk tokens here. Um, we can spend a milk token to change the value of one die by plus one or minus one. Um, so that could be helpful in case we need it. Okay, let's roll those three dice. One, Emma will try to get forest friends this round. Um, but it's an, it's an odd round, so it's my turn first. One, three, and four, what will I do? So on the blue farm, I would like to get cows or calves and a pig. We can get calves here, four even. Oh, that's a lot of calves. Oh, wow. And then we have three, that's a cow and two calves. That's, I think that's better because we need cows in there to actually get points. And four would be that here. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but somebody is starting to drill here. I hope you can't hear it too much, but I don't want to interrupt the video now because of those people. And for the red farm, we would need cows, calves, maybe, and a sheep. Cows, calves, yeah, chicken, and well, let's take the blue farm. And I would say, let's take it three. Three here, one, two, three. So we can get a cow and two calves, which is pretty nice. So let me draw a cow here. like this and two calves like this okay and now it's farmer emma's turn one and four she wants a forest friend two, three, four, she can get one there and she could get one there, but the closest one would be this one here. One, two, three, four. So she will go over there and the four is gone. So she will take two calves. So far, the calves don't score at all. As soon as she gets a cow, then she will get all of these points. So let's hope she doesn't get a cow this game. And another forest friend. All right. Wonderful. So we are now in round four and Farmer Emma will go first. Oh no, what was that number just now? I think it was a one, right. We forgot 
because the last die with the last die we need to rotate this here like this and also we need to put in row one we need to put a crop ah we should have left that empty here well then we will have to put it here i suppose ah that's bad because one crop doesn't help us at all but then let's just put it here like this okay so now we can go round four by the way usually if you play with other players uh, in a multiplayer game this um, is played over 10 rounds as you can see down here uh, maybe you can see it there um, but in the a game against the AI it's only eight rounds so this after this round we are halfway through okay so Emma will look for forest friends again and it's also her turn one one four let's see what she can do no forest friend, no forest friend. Here would be a forest friend. So this with a one. And she will get a cow and a forest friend. So she doesn't have different farms. She has like one huge farm. So um, yeah, it's it doesn't matter which Meepo we take for her. So one and four. Um, For the blue farm, we are pretty fine here, but it wouldn't be too bad to get like another cow in there. So we can get a cow there and a pig. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. That's exactly. Oh no, it's a blue farm. One, two, three. Oh, then let's do it this way. We will take the four, but we will change it to a three by spending a milk token. So let me get that out of the game. So now it's a three and we will take the blue one. One, two, three over there. Perfect. Um, so we get one cow. Let's put that just, let's just put it, uh, yeah, well, let's put it up, up here. One cow, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Come on. And one pig. And we need those in groups too. So let's put one right by the other one. Like this. That's nice. So now it's Farmer Emma again. She wants forest friends. And with a one, she will... No, wait. One second. Farmer Emma already went, right? I think she already, no, she didn't, she didn't go yet. So I don't know why I have these two in here, but Farmer Emma didn't go yet, did she? Yeah, she did, she did, sorry, my mistake. No, no, she didn't. I think she didn't, so let's just say she didn't. Um, and let's give her one. I'm not quite sure if she went or not. I kind of lost track right now, but um, let me just give her a few points here. Otherwise, I will just um, subtract them at the end again. And she will get her forest friend here. I'm not sure if she went or not. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay. Um, so now um, we need to do the same thing as usual again. I have a one here. So we rotate that by one. And up here in the one, I need to um, draw more crops. Let's just put them. Yeah, let's just leave those cows now. I don't know. I mean, we need to put the crops here so we don't have any other space left here at the one. So yeah. Um, okay. So now it's our turn again. Oh, so we are now in round five. And I think Farmer Emma actually went last round already because in round four, she always goes first. So, um, let me note down here, um, 
minus 2 and minus 1. So I need to subtract those later on. Okay. 6, 4, and... Oh, 6, 4, and 2. Um, it's... Now it's our turn again. We will start. Um, so here... We could even get more cows. That'd be great. Um, red farm, we want sheep. At least two. And then whatever we can get, pretty much. Also, she already has a horse. We should get a few horses because that's 10 point. 10 points we can get. Otherwise, she will get them. So horses would be good too for the red farm or blue farm, doesn't matter. So let's look at the blue farm first for cows. We can get calves here. We can get a cow and calves here. Wow. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to bother with anything else. So four over there. So we get a cow and two calves. Wow. That's incredible. We get a lot of points here. So let's put um, one more cow here. Oh, that's a pretty fat cow. And two calves. And let's put another one here. Let's let's fill up that row. Like that. Okay. So Farmer Emma. She wants oh we forgot to mark that. She wants sheep this round. So two, no sheep, no sheep. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, she can get sheep over there. So so she will get one sheep and two calves, but we had two too much last one, so we just, just crossed that out. So now she got her two calves back. Okay, so I hope I didn't make a mistake. Otherwise, I will just add it in the Esperanto subtitle track as a note. Okay, that was it. And now we have the six. We need to rotate that six times here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Like this. Wonderful. And also we need, on this board, we need to draw crops. Um, well, I don't want to separate anything here. So let's put some crops here. They will not give us any points because we can't put more than one. We can't put any more adjacent to that. Okay. Wonderful. Well, not quite wonderful, but that's okay. So we are now in round six. Two la more rounds left after that. Um, that's an even round, so Emma, it's Emma's turn again. So Emma wants horses. I don't like that. One, three, four. Um, no horse, no horse, no horse, no horse. She can't get a horse. I mean, there's no horse even here. So then she will go for cows. Oh no, please don't go for cows, but she can. Here with a one. Oh no. This is bad. Because now she will get one cow and two calves. Oh no. So two calves and a cow. Like that. Okay. This is not this is not great. Because now she has calves full. First of all, that's a lot of points. I don't know if I can if I can win it all now because she really got a lot of calves. But also, um, when she gets more calves and she doesn't have any, she will just fill up the chickens here. Um, and if these are full, well, I don't know, but I think that's not possible. At least not this game. Okay, now it's our turn. Um, for the blue farm, we would need more cows. Um, and for the red farm, sheep at least. So four, we can get one sheep and one forest friend here. That's not too bad. We can get four calves, two calves and a chicken. Um, yeah, but, oh, that's bad. So what do we do now? Hmm. Because four, yeah, we can get a sheep and a forest friend, but we don't need them here. Because the sheep will not give us any points. We would need them on the red farm. That's a one. We can get a sheep with two here. That would be possible. 
So we could spend a milk token to change that to a two. Let's do that. And then we can go here two to get a sheep and a pig. Let's do that. So let's put a sheep uh, right here. like there um, and a pig let's put the pig uh, um, let's put it here there okay and we still have we have the four left so let's rotate that by four one two three and four and also we need to draw crops in the in row number four. Let's do that here because, well, then we have at least a group of three. That is some points we get. Okay, great. So now it's turn number seven. That's the second to last turn. And this is, um, this is us. We will go first now. Okay. So one, Emma will look for forest friends. Okay, good, no more cows, please. Um, so we will go first now. What do we need? Cows, blue farm, which is possible here, but we don't need that sheep. One, two, three, that would be a forest friend and a chicken. Well, forest friend and chicken isn't too bad either. I mean, that's just three extra points. Why not? But the cow, would be five extra points, six extra points. But the sheep doesn't help us, but okay. I mean, it's still more points. And for the red farm, we would either get a chicken and a horse. We would need horses. We do need horses. Um, or, and that's it, yeah. No, let's go one here. And give for the blue farm, give us a cow and a sheep. So first, we will put a cow here and also a sheep. Okay, so our blue form is completely filled up. And now it's Emma's turn. She wants forest friends. So let's see, she won't get one there, not there, not there, and not there. She's not going to get any forest friends, so she will aim for sheep. She can get a sheep over there with the three. So she get two more calves, which she can't, so she will get two chicken instead. And also she will get a sheep. Okay. And now we have one left to turn that one more time, like Daft Punk would say. And in row one, we would need to put crops, but we don't have any crops. So too bad. Okay. This is now the very last round, round number eight. In a multiplayer game, you have 10 rounds. As I said, okay. So, and in this round, it's an um, it's a even round. So Emma will go first again, and she is looking for cows. Wonderful. This is just horrible. Oh, this is great. Oh no. Okay, can she get cows? One, two. No. 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 She can't get any cows because the only cow is there. And she would need a six or seven for that. Okay. This is good. This is pretty good. Okay. So, um, so then she will go for calves. Can she go for calves? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, she can. Then she will get one forest friend and a calf, which she can't get, so she will take two chicken instead, and the chicken are full. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to lose this round. <laughs> if you would like to see me get revenge and play that again to let me know. Okay, so that was a five. Now it's our turn. Um, we can only fill the red farm, so this meeple doesn't interest us. Two doesn't work. Three will give us a horse and a forest friend. That's okay. That is okay. Um, let's just do that. Well, we could also get a sheep instead. If we go take only two. Uh, if we take a four, but we have a milk token, I mean, to raise three. but And then we would get 10 points more for the sheep. But she would get 10 points more for the horse, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. So let's just take the horse route with a three here. Um, also because I want to put some more crops here. Okay, so we get one horse and one squirrel. Right, so let's put um, the horse pretty much any place. Let's put a horse here. Um, let's see if we can if we can get one here like that. Yeah, it's a pretty thick horse, but that's fine like this and another here like that and then we also need a squirrel let's put that over here why not like this Okay, so that was that. And with the two, we would rotate the board two more times, which really doesn't matter. So that's two because the game is over now, but we will get to put more crops in row two. We will put them over here. And now we are done with the game. That took quite a long time. Yeah, so it's a game that takes a little bit longer, but I think it's really fun. All right, so then let us calculate the score. Um, I will just note it down here. So let's see, let's put that a little bit, get that a little bit out of the way like that. So, and then we can uh, summarize the scores here. So Emma and Sir Thakas. Let's see. Okay, um, I would say we go um, animal by animal. So, Farmer Emma gets zero points for pigs. Zero. Um, I will get one plus six. I get seven points for pigs. Okay, then we have sheep. Um, so, Emma gets two victory points for sheep because she has two sheep there that's two victory points we um always um we always say that every all of that is adjacent so she gets those two points and i get two points here and zero points there so that's two points also each chicken she has six so that's 12 points i have no chicken i think no i get zero there then we have horses. We have both one horse. I have one there. She has one there. So we both get 10 points, I suppose. Because we both have most horses. Um, cows and calves. So she has two, four, six, eight, ten calves times two cows. So that's 20 points. And um, I have a, this cow doesn't count i have a group with one two three four cows and three six calves so that's 24 points and then we have unique forest friends um she has five unique ones so that's 18 points 
Oh, but we said minus one here, right? Because um, I gave a one too many before that, so it's only four for his friend, so it's 12 points. Um, and how about me? I only got one for his friend, so I get one point. So it's pretty clear that I lost. Oh, no, no, wait. I, and I got to get the crops here. So I have one group of six crops. Uh, I need to look actually at the rules, how much that is. Um, crop scoring, five to six in a group, that's three points. Okay, so I get another three points added to that. Okay, so she has six, 56 points, that's a lot. And I have nine, 10, 13, seven, 47. So that's, um, that's the end score. Um, she has 56 points, I only get 47. And that means I lost the game. Um, I don't quite know why I lost. I think this was a pretty good strategy with the cows. That gave me 24 points, that's a lot of points. But then again, I should have gone maybe also for sheep because six sheep is 24 points. That's the same amount, but with only six fields. So difficult to know. Also. I could have gotten one more horse at some point, maybe in between the game, instead of getting another pig or whatever, um, that could have pushed me over the edge. Probably having one horse more would have helped because then she would have only 46 points and I would have 57. So only that horse would have changed a lot. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go drink my tea now. And thank you very much for sticking around and I will see you in the next video. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.